Hello and welcome to episode 2 of uh, N2 Space, our little space program that we're working on. This one I'm going to use Command Pod MK1 because we're going to be docking today. Remember I used the airplane cockpit originally. This was because uh, that allowed a better cockpit view. It was, uh, I find it must be a little more comfortable for the pilots, being that that's what a uh, test pilot would ask for. You no, know, I'm going to respect their wishes. I'm not going to bag on NASA for uh, selecting the uh, Mercury capsule, but, uh, but that was more of a ballistics thing. This is for docking. This is like Gemini. I'm going to have two astronauts go up, and I'm going to dock them together. And I'm going to return them together. So, we uh, add a decoupler, an SAS, some RCS fuel. And I remember that I forgot to get the RCS fuel on my last ship. So, here's what RCS does. It's just basically like little rockets on the side. They're liquid fuel and they allow for a better control. Uh, I saw one question on the forums where it asked me why uh, don't I uh, does, why doesn't vector counter roll? Well, that's because in order to have vector counter roll, you have to have the rocket engine bend in sort of ways that you really don't want it to bend. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I guess you could ask Scott Manley about that. He's a, he's not an engineer, he's a, he's an astrophysicist on you know, this channel, if you like mine. Because he's way better than I am at this. Bill this time. Um, I already got Jeb in orbit right now, so uh, he's smiling and happy. He's uh, in orbit. I'll show you in a second. Uh, throttle up, hit Z. Well, I hit Z because uh, Z activates my head to change the course. Um, for most people, it's caps lock, and if it doesn't work, just change it to Z because uh, Z has absolutely no nothing attached to it currently. So, count down in 3, 2, 1. Blast off, we need to start, boost ignition, lift off, and clear the tower. Uh, Bill says everything feels fine. So, we're, go we're just, uh, you know, a simple ride into orbit, just like last time. We're going to uh, later gravity turn at about 10,000 meters or, or 10 kilometers. We're at about uh, one and a half kilometers, two kilometers. So we just need to. So we're just gonna get into orbit. We're gonna try and get uh, into an orbit that is, that is similar to the other one. And uh, if you watch this, you're gonna just sort of base back my epic failure of doing this. Um, I'd like to note this is before 0.18.4, and uh, ever since then my bag has gotten completely better. I work on a crappy Mac, um, which is probably why my caps lock doesn't work. Uh, so. The lag has gotten completely better. I haven't made a video ever since, ever since uh, then. Uh, this is my first one. So this is just uh, we're just uh, trying to get into orbit. Uh, boost and fuel it out. We're gonna jettison that. And this thing's on its own. So we're at 10,000 meters. And those are when the boosters usually give out. I run tests, and that's about when the boosters give out. That's about the time that you need to. Uh, Rocket sort of gets out of control, goes that way, and yes, and the advance of this AS, so they had ASAS. That's ASAS, ASAS. Um, uh, goes, uh, can't exactly control it. So, I'm gonna try 
bring it as high as we can with this apoapsis. And uh, we're not going to go above the little green line up here. And uh, we're not going to go below 70 kilometers. Uh, so we're, so I'm aiming for about 80 kilometers. And my engine gives out, so i got to use my second stage, firing. Where we get up to 40 kilometers. This is where we get up to 80 kilometers. But I make a very key mistake here that really, really screws me up. Well, one mistake is I uh, launched too late. And you can see that Jeb is over here, and I'm back here. Way back there. I keep doing the thing with my fingers. Um, so we're at 80 kilometers, and I decided to, to show you guys what I'm doing to do this. I, I probably would have done better if I didn't do this in fact, I probably would have done time. But I decided to do this on the uh, recording system. It's a very useful system when I'm going into inter interplanetary space and uh, trying to dock. the most patient type but this but for something like this I I uh, especially when video recording I really really do calm myself down and uh, I'm a little less less unpatient or more patient so that way so yeah I get really bored and I just keep zooming in zooming out it's, uh, yeah I skip out a couple of times to show you what's going on here just a lot, a lot of waiting. I just didn't want to put you guys through that. I eventually have to just, uh, I, the lag gets really terrible when I get really close like this. And I have to switch out and go to, um, what's going on? Oh, crap, okay, sorry. Um, I was, uh, forced to go out into and change my settings and, uh, I had to switch out and it, just sort of, I was able to fix it and the lag was a lot better. So here we are, we're Jebediah right now. Um, we're gonna, we're coming in real.
real close now. You can see it right there. Uh, we're 17 kilometers. We're 17 meters out. Kilometers would be very far, very long, a long way away. It'd be very far away. It'd be a very far, long way away. Just be away, okay? So we're coming up, and uh, this is where the RCS comes in. Is you want to use it to. Uh, guide your spacecraft sort of like this uh, um, I'm not gonna go over the keys that we're gonna have but uh, you can look them up there so you can find them in the settings and it's on the wiki page it's uh, a little a little better it's a little better for them to explain it than me because I'm not the best at explaining it I'm it was just uh, you know better it was just better. I, okay, I don't know what is better. What is better? Is better worse or worse is better? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yes, that was me. That's uh. So what we're gonna do is we're going to is we're just bringing it in real close. And uh, I have like video issues like that. you guys do this, I spared you some really boring parts, but I'm going to put you completely through this, and you're going to get some, to see something interesting that you're all going to love. So. Yes. This is. This is, uh, yeah, we're eight kilometers out, eight, eight point three. Yeah, you want to get your docking ports aligned to a position where you can. So, so that way you can sort of get them better. I didn't do that, which is why I'm six hundred out, way off to the left, right, no, left, 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 the left, your other left. No, Bill, your left. Not my left, your left. Okay. Coming in. I'm just gonna back up a little bit. I came in a little too far to the left. Your left, your left, Bill. Okay, now, here we go, we, we're docked. Set your ass, shut it off here. Advanced uh, SAS, and I hit control from here. You're supposed to do that at the beginning, but I don't like to do that. I find it better to control from here. But, just control from here, and suddenly, I'm not. I did it. Now time to do something stupid. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait till the daytime. These two are going to just going to hang out, you know, catch up. Hey, how you been? You know, just floating in here in this really cramped spacecraft, looking out the window. Look at all the stars. You know, that's what your few astronauts could do. So, what did you do in space? So, uh, Alan Shepard, what did you do in space? Oh, you know, just stared out the window. So, I'm coming up on the area, it's not the best position to burn. I'll admit, that's a lot of waste, that's a waste of fuel. But you know, I'm doing so Completely fatal. 
so now I'm gonna get that. I'm just gonna get rid of Bear with me, this is this is a very bad idea that I do. So we're up at four times and we're coming up and we see Lincolnpita debris just falling in and disintegrating in the atmosphere. Meanwhile, we're safe in our heat shields, which are not even pointed at the ground. Probably should not try this. I actually got Bill killed and just thought I'd tell you that. Coming down really fast. Two Bob saw it fly away and he thought, hey, I'll grab onto it and I'll float down safely and the capsule could get destroyed. And he missed. And that's why he died. I try and rotate it a little, you know. Try and get it facing upward. The way it was meant to land. But I don't get it. So we land and... We, you know, land. That's a mission success in my eyes. <laughs>